on the threes. And more on the flooding. Uh, some of the river stages that are forecast, they haven't changed since yesterday. At Simsport, spillway open or closed. Regardless, looks like a crest on May 23rd of about 50 feet, which is right at flood stage. Butler Rose flood stage is 25 feet. If the spillway stays closed, that's where it'll crest open about four feet higher. The crest expected around May 24th. Levy in Butler Rose goes up to 33 feet, but backwater flooding could affect parts of Butler Rose as low as 28 feet on that river stage. Now, Morgan City flood stage is four feet. Spillway closed. It'll run up to nine and a half, 13 feet if it's open, which would exceed the all-time record set back in 1970. And the crest is expected on May the 25th. Now, here's the map that we've been looking at it from the Army Corps of Engineers. It is available at KATC.com. And I just posted a high-resolution map that you can zoom way in and get uh, specific areas, uh, a little bit more detail. I just put that on our KATC Facebook page so you can find that. But if they open up the structure, here's the river out here to the uh, east. There's the structure, and the water would flow into the basin areas, which generally is what the Atchafalaya Swamp is. But on the west, rather the east side of the Atchafalaya, Falaya River on the opposite side of the river from Melville and Crotch Springs, there is a levee here. So initially the water would hit that levee and continue to flow southward. Now, talked about that flow getting to I-10 by day one, Iberia Parish by day two, and then Morgan City by day three. That's when the water starts to trickle down. That's not the maximum amounts of water. It's going to take a couple of weeks for the waters to rise to their maximum levels. But the water will go all the way down. Now, the levee ends as you get closer down uh, toward the St. Martin Parish line. And then on the west side of the Atchafalaya River, the levee actually goes all the way down through Butte Rose. So the water would have to go down, then it would fill up into the Atchafalaya River a bit, but continue to flow southward, and then possibly you would get some backwater flooding on the other side of the levee. That's what we're talking about over Butte Rose, if the water actually comes back around. You get some flooding as the river gets up to about 29 feet, and that could eventually flow uh, into the basin areas going back into St. Landry Parish. But down to the south, it's going to generally going to be covering mostly marshy areas, except for the areas down Stevensville, Bell River, and the floodway control the uh, levee control system here the levees here another levee out here to the west would push the water down through the Atchafalaya River between Berwick and Morgan City and another area would bring some of the water at the Calumet Cut that's just to the east of Franklin so the marshy areas could take on some water eventually there is a levee system that goes down to Salt Point higher elevations around Glencoe but uh, there are areas uh, low-lying areas over around Franklin but keep in mind that that purple shade that we're talking about zero to five feet, which means it could be as low as zero. And the Army Corps of Engineers, according to an interview I heard yesterday out in New Orleans, saying that they really kind of overplay this to make sure that everybody in the areas uh, heed the warnings, but not all areas that are shaded would be flooded. And then, of course, you got the backwater flooding that comes in, and that could impact areas of St. Landry Parish, including Three Mile Lake. But, of course, that wouldn't take place for a couple of more weeks. And we'll have more on the flooding as we go through the uh, morning and, of course, the latest on any other news and preparations. Right now, let's check in with ABC. It's 70 degrees, and your time is 526.